Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a dumbbell is made by fixing two particles at the ends of a thin rod okay so there is a thin rod and two particles are fixed at the ends unlike charges equal modulus q the dumbbell is moving in a region of space where a uniform magnetic field of induction b pointing everywhere in the positive z direction is present at a particular instant when the rod of the dumbbell makes an angle theta with positive x direction okay it is rotating with the angular velocity omega k cap and its center is moving with the velocity vxi cap plus vyj cap find net force and net torque about the center of the dumbbell at this instant okay so let us just uh, break the velocity components properly of these two unlike charges that is situated at the ends of the dumbbell first of all this is rotating with an angular velocity omega in the anti clockwise direction so for that omega that omega will create a tangential velocity omega l by 2 with respect to point o right fine and for this point omega l by 2 will be in this direction now in the question they have given that the center of mass is traveling with a velocity vector vxi cap plus vyj cap so each point of the rod will consist of this velocity vector so i am just i have just broken down this velocity vector in the direction along the line or along the rod and perpendicular to the rod so that would give you vx sin theta minus vy cos theta perpendicular to the rod and vx cos theta plus vy sin theta okay along the rod similarly for this point also it will have the same velocity components along and perpendicular to the rod fine so we have all the velocity components now let us find out the net force okay now for the force will only be due to the magnetic field right now let us check one thing if you watch this one omega l by 2 right omega l by 2 so the force due to omega l by 2 velocity component using the q v cross b formula so v cross b for this velocity will be directed in this direction okay will be directed along the rod in this direction similarly for the negative charge this omega l by 2 velocity will create a force also along this direction because v cross b for negative charge it will be here right now if you see properly that for this velocity and this velocity the forces gets cancelled out because one charge is positive and another charge is negative because for this velocity v cross b would be here and for this velocity v cross b will be here because the charge is negative okay simple cross product and for this one the velocity component will be here and for this one the velocity component will be here so forces gets cancelled out only the forces due to the rotational component or the angular velocity will remain present right so i have already written that force is only present due to rotational motion fine so i have written only the rotational tangential velocity only due to the rotational motion so that would create a force of q omega l by 2 b along this direction and same magnitude of force along this direction so the net force is two times any one of the force in this direction and we have broken it into x and y components so for that we write the direction cosines cos theta i cap and sin theta j cap so the net force on the rod is this one now coming for the torque okay now the torque now as you can see this two forces won't create any torque because this is along the line okay the torque will only be created due to this component let us see why because the force due to this velocity component is here and due to this velocity component is here okay so these two forces will create the torque if you see properly that this velocity component will create a force in this direction and this one along this so cancels each other now i have drawn this components only so the force due to this 
is q b times this velocity vector and force due to this is q b times this velocity vector in this direction. So, the formula for torque is q b times means this force any one of the force because forces are equal and opposite times the perpendicular distance between the two forces that is L. Okay. And these two forces is trying to rotate in a clockwise direction that is cross that is negative k or negative z. right? So, this would be the unit vector. I know this was a pretty simple question and I also know that many of you are suggesting me to solve few questions. Solving few questions takes time, uh, but I will definitely try to cover as many as possible. I know my explanations are not the best one available, but hey, I am the only one that provides the solution. I, I mean, many people are also providing, but uh, I don't. Uh, I hope you are getting me, right? So, I, if you are new to this channel, uh, please do subscribe, and uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.